Hey guys, um, I'm outside again today. Um, and I just wanted to make a reminder today. Honestly, I've had so many thoughts go through my mind today. But the biggest one for me was just, who cares? Okay, who cares? So many things happen within our day. So many things happen in a week, in a moment, in a minute, in an hour. Like so many things go on and it's just like, if we spend time dwelling or overanalyzing situations that really don't need it, we're wasting the 24 hours that we do have. And the more I realize that life is not promised and the more that I realize that literally everything here on earth is temporary, the more I feel like the absolute urge to just seek a God. Like, it's actually crazy how one prayer can transform your whole entire life. Like, the more I realize that this world really doesn't have much for me and doesn't have anything to offer, the more I want to do the will of God instead. And it's not easy to seek God, especially when you're living in the world, but you're not of it. But it's way better than trying to impress the world. It's way better than trying to live up to the world's standards. It's way better than conforming to the things of this world because it really has nothing for us here. And we're trying to impress people who aren't even watching. We're trying to do things that we would never do. And all for what? Temporary gratification, temporary glory from other people. And when I was assessing the situation, I was looking all around me and I'm just like, these people who I want to be friends with so bad or these people who I want to like me so bad, these people are mean. Like, these are not the nicest people. These aren't people who add anything to your life. Like, these people are mean and they only have one goal, which is to cause drama and to gossip. And it's like, why do you even want to associate yourself with that? And I guess, I guess another message that I can say is also know your worth. And when we say know your worth, that's just that just doesn't mean (laughs) in terms of like not settling for less but like it's not settling for less in anything in any area of your life like maybe the type of friends that you're with right now is you settling like it's not necessarily about having a superiority complex thinking you're better than everyone else but know the knowledge you have know the spirit that you have in you and know what deserves and who deserves to be around you because your time spending time with some somebody spending time with you is a complete privilege they don't that not everybody's supposed to have access to you and you realize that you're giving a lot of the wrong people access to you and not only are you giving them access to you but you're also giving them access to your life and your information and your blessings like it's not worth it none of it is worth it Living for God is so peaceful. Living for God slows everything down in such a good way. Living for God just... Like, I don't worry the way I used to worry. I don't complain the way I used to complain. Like, things that used to... It's so crazy how God works. Like, things that used to bother me so much. And you don't even understand because I'm the type of person where I get irritated real quick. Like, I get irritated really quickly, right? And I'm just thinking to myself, and I'm like, things that used to bother me so much no longer bother me, no longer have a grip on me. Like, that is a living God that is working in and throughout me because there's no way things that had a stronghold on me for years, it's loose in a day. The minute I say it, I no longer feel the same way towards certain people or situations. And... I guess the moral of the story here is to choose God. God already chooses you. So you might as well choose God. This world, trust me, I've been through it. I've assessed the situation. I've tried to dabble in the world and dabble in God. That doesn't work. You're either all in for God or you're not. You can't be in two places at once. And so if you need a reminder, this world has nothing to offer for you. And you know what? We never really know how much material things really don't worth anything until we have everything we want so the minute you get the car the minute you get the house the minute you get the family the minute you get not the family but like the material stuff the minute you get it 
you will then realize it adds nothing to your life. It adds nothing to your life and it's not it's not worth anything. It's just material stuff. That's all it is. And that's the minute you will realize that that stuff can't bring you happiness. There are problems that you will have that money will never be able to solve. And then what you're going to do, run to God. You can't keep playing both sides. So choose God today. Because when I look at everything, I'm like, none of this really matters if God isn't getting glory. None of this really matters if he's not happy. A lot of us want to make our parents proud, but we're making our parents on earth proud. And our Father in heaven is upset. And I don't know about you, but I'm more concerned about pleasing him than pleasing them. So don't seek the validation of other people. Don't seek the validation of this world. They can, this world can only offer so many things, and it's all temporary. None of it lasts. None of it lasts. So choose God. Choose God. It's so hard to do, and I totally understand that. But at the end of the day... Like, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I get to go to somebody and talk with him every single day, every single moment. And he listens, and he cares, and he provides. Like, I don't know whose parents are doing that, but my parents can't do all of that for me at once. But he can. So run to him with your problems. Tell him what you need to tell him. But remember, this world only has so much to offer before it throws you in the mud just like everybody else. But God... God will never throw you away. You're, you're more precious than diamonds and rubies to him. You know? And we need to recognize and realize that he's the only one that can really provide us external and internal satisfaction. I'm sorry. People are playing music. But I hope you guys got something from this today. And have an amazing, beautiful, blessed, and prosperous day. Goodbye.